Can you tell me why it would be immoral under the hypothetical you just posited for me for me to put women in breeding camps and breed them? You know what? Let me tell you what. You know what he's doing right now? He's smoking his cigarette. He's doing... He is... Gonna, the Handmaid's Tale is coming. He's going to be the king of the castle, whatever it is. And he's going to be doing his Bruce Springsteen. He's like, everybody's got a hungry heart. The Crucible is haunting Jasmine Jafar. Pretty soon she's going to be my slave. Working in my kitchen like a handmaid. Hey! Do I have enough gel? Hey, 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 stop, stop the music. The music. music. Is that Is Jasmine, Jasmine Jafar? Jafar? Stoner, Stoner before, before she crosses, crosses the Jersey, Jersey border, 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 all right? All right. One, One, two, two, two three, three. Uh, uh, do, do, do. Do you understand what I'm saying here? <laughs> this is literally, this is literally what I'm looking at. It's crazy. Hello, America, FBI and CIA agents and fellow cult members. Welcome to Culture Club USA. I'm Debrava. Today's riddle is... The fall of Western culture, the rise of wicked vultures. The righteous are buried and forgotten with the sudden rise of poisonous doctrines. As the moral and just stumble up the ladder, the dreams of the wicked stumble and shatter. As the ultimate existence of evil is futility, truth and virtue will always live in ubiquity. Okay, on today's episode of OnlyFans on Trial, we are going to be watching part two of 304 CI agent whole lawyer Jasmine Jafar attempting to debate the crucible. Let's see how far off we are from the actual Handmaid's Tale coming. Let's dive in. 80% of women that were giving birth were dying, but they, so they were dying in childbirth, but their kids were living on. And that was the way to keep the world going. Would you force those women to have children? Okay. So just for those of you who didn't see the first part, let me just fill you in quickly. So the, the, the debate right now is that, you know, will civilization, if, if there was a threat to civilization ending because women just didn't feel like having children anymore, or there was some sickness that the women were going to die, although the children would live on, Um, should women be forced into having babies? Hmm, Sounds like The Handmaid's Tale, right? Let's see. The entailment there of force, if you say, would I make laws that were um, stationed for them to have massive incentives to do this? And You know what's funny? Do you notice something about him that she doesn't even notice? He always refers to himself like, would I make laws? (laughs) (laughs) Just saying. I think it's hysterical. Okay, okay. To do this. And you consider that to be forced because there would have to be people around to enforce those laws. Like what? Like what? Like what? What? Like what incentives? For which thing? So I'm saying in this hypothetical, because you have crazy hypotheticals, 80% of women that are going to have, let's say we had some disease, whatever, that 80% of women who gave birth were now dying in childbirth. And so a lot of them didn't want to have kids because if they had kids, they would die, but their kids would be alive and they would continue to flourish in society. You're saying that that's good for society to do that because we're, we have to care about what's coming. Yeah. Next. In that particular Wait, case, how would you that? Yeah, yeah, in that particular case, you would have a higher duty to make sure because uh, that hypothetical actually is realistic but even if i engage with it in a realistic way if i just say okay let's just grant it you still in that case would have a higher duty to keep the human race perpetuated even at the expense of women because i have to deal with men and women so even under the prism even under the prism of happiness where you say well wait a second all the women will be completely miserable then it's like yeah but if you're if this is all you have to go off of is that all the women will die the second that they give birth they're necessarily going to give birth to men which means your happiness index would still go up even under those metrics see this is the difference between men and women okay men and women she's thinking about herself and women's happiness as opposed to the future like let's say the future of the children the future of humanity our existence She's literally sitting here actually contemplating that. I mean, this is a very far-fetched thing, but let's think about that. So you're just going to let, you know, civilization die off because women want to be happy? (laughs) I mean, that is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. What kind of instincts does she have? 
as a female, you should be willing to risk and give your life to save the lives of everyone else or humanity or your child. And the happiness index would go up because there's people and like more people. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because they wouldn't exist otherwise, right? Okay. Men, men so wouldn't exist question, otherwise. Wait. Good point. Now, he's saying that the happiness index, if that, let's say that happened, would go up. And she's like, it would go, well, he's saying, yeah, because people wouldn't exist otherwise. Hello? <laughs> Duh. You didn't answer my question. I did. In this hypothetical, how would you, so would you then force, because you said you wouldn't force, use brute force to force these women <laughs> to give birth. You said you would give them incentives. Well, no, if I'm engaging specifically in the absurdum of this hypothetical, I would say then that, yes, you would have a duty to actually use force and that that so would what be would justified. Do? What would you do? What does she mean? What would you do? <laughs> what do you think they would do, Jasmine? I mean, what kind of law degree do you get on OnlyFans? <laughs> Clearly, She's showing us. I mean, can we have any common sense on these debates with these whores? Seriously. What do you mean, what would you do? Let's think about that. It's called force physically. I mean, these women like her actually still believe that they can fight men. Big mistake. Big mistake. I don't know, make breeding facilities, probably. <laughs> Force the women in there and then, okay, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me why that would be immoral under your hypothetical that you just asked me, which is, if, you hang on, stop, more, stop. He said make breeding facilities, by the way. <laughs> Do you see her face? She's like, huh? You're nuts. <laughs> And look at the moderator. I mean, he's just like scratching his ear, doing this. He's like, I don't even think he understands what's going on. <laughs> I got to say, this moderating is like, uh, he's just like, Somebody, did I take a Quaalude? One of them OnlyFans slipped something that I had a drink last night. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Finish. Can you tell me why it would be immoral under the hypothetical you just posited for me, for me to put women in breeding camps and breed them? Because my moral philosophy, I have a bit, I, I believe in the no then harm. Then tell me why. Tell me why it's immoral to Immoral do that. to imprison, kidnap, rape, force women to give birth so that future generations can go on. Yeah, You're, that's just restating the question. Can you tell me why it would be immoral for I you to do that? You, because I don't think it's moral to... Yeah, you it's can just a restatement if you don't think it's moral. You cannot harm other people. You cannot harm living oh, people. Oh, you cannot don't harm. Don't, don't people have to be alive for them to be harmed? Yeah, the women that you're forcing yeah, into the camp are but alive. If there's, if by this metric of logic, I need you to understand that what you're doing is saying we're going to eradicate humanity so there will never be more people to be happy because happiness is your metric here, right? Which means you're actually creating more harm by not locking them in the breeding I pen. would say the absence of future happiness of, of future people is not as important as preventing suffering and harm to the people that are here by kidnapping them, raping them, and forcing them to have children and dying. I agree with that. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, wait a second here. Okay. Because, you know, this girl is absolutely insane. Insane. So why should men go to war? So that she can be an OnlyFans prostitute. I mean, do you see how the narratives change with these feminists? Okay. It's like common sense when it applies to them. You know, it, the rules change on feelings. So women are unhappy, so we shouldn't, you know, cause them any more suffering. Just let everything dilapidate and die off and humanity end as opposed to keeping the world going. It's kind of like the wars, right? Do you think men are happy walking on the front line? I mean, seriously, I, the, you know, here we go again. I mean, Rangers in Normandy at Pont du Hoc, right? One in three chance of survival. Do you think they were happy about those statistics? Oh, there's a one in three chance that I'm going to come back and see my mom. Oh, so is, I'm not happy about it. So you know what? I'm not going to go because, you know, uh, you know, I mean, think about it. This absolutely makes no sense. This breed of female or whatever she is, is the absolute most selfish being I have ever seen. It is constantly about me, 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 me. And men, they're just disposable. Think about it. Crazy.
and forcing them to have children and dying. I agree with that. I, I'm sorry. I just do. I don't so, think that the happiness of hypothetical people in the future or even hypothetical in the future who are coming to existence. I don't think that outweighs kidnapping, raping, why? forcing women to have why children. Why not? Why wouldn't because it outweigh that? I, if it I created, if it creates, yeah, than, yeah, I know. But hold, this is the woman, this is the same girl that, you know, votes, which she shouldn't even have a right to vote as far as I'm concerned. This is the girl that is sending your children, your men, your d sons to war, to their deathbeds. This. Okay. I mean, God, I mean, at least back in, in the days of, you know, World War I, people had more common sense. They had some kind of sense of morals. They, they were, you know, there was nationalism. They were fighting for a real cause. What? What male, what young male on earth right now in this country would ever want to go to war to fight for some 304 ho lawyer like that? They don't respect men. They don't respect themselves. They don't respect anybody. You don't respect your elders. I mean, can you imagine being this girl's parents? Do you know the embarrassment, the shame? I put my daughter through college, probably paid for it, I don't know, so that she could quit that career, all right, after I spent all that money, and be an OnlyFans prostitute. How lovely. You put well, actually, more weight, but you haven't told me why you put more weight. The people that are actually conscious, yeah, right? Yeah, now, but I you're not. You're not listening. Those people. Then be, are you like I? Are, you are the like. This is hilarious. Like you're, you're you're actually saying to me this. Here's what you're saying to me. You're saying future generations and their happiness don't matter, right? Not Comparatively, well, what matters what matters is what's going on currently, and if the actions that humans. <laughs> guy he's like i don't know what he's doing I, this is like the weirdest moderating i've ever seen the crucible is literally sitting here spitting the most insane words out of his mouth for this debate while this idiot broad whole lawyer prostitute is over here acting like a jackass and he's over here just fidgeting around his ear this that i mean it's like what are you doing I'm on currently and if the actions that humans collectively take currently right now eradicate all of humanity which then assures that there will never be people to be joyful or be happy then one happiness can't be your biggest metric it's impossible because you want there to be the most amount of living people who were happy regardless of circumstance two can't be consequentialism so what the fuck is it what is the I'm, justification I'm, that's what i'm telling you it's a, so for instance like when it comes to the environment it's a scale like if it the environment when it comes to he just said something so profound and she brings it to the environment okay let's talk about the green new deal the environment we're talking about civilization and its possible end and you're talking about the environment it's like they just have certain talking points in their heads and that's all they can grab you know oh oh gloria steinem told me to say that gloria steinem told me to say oh no what did gloria steinem it's like I, do you even think that she can even comprehend what the crucible is actually even saying here? I'm not even quite sure. Don't waste your money on a law degree. It's not going to, but if it's not, if it's like, okay, let's make policy decisions so that we can keep our planet for future generations that are inevitably going to. That's okay, though. Let's make policy, you know, decisions, you know, to keep our planet safe for, for, for you know, future generations. But forget about humanity. So let the planet keep going, but let all the people die. <laughs> I can't. Really going to be here because people are reproducing. I guess you're saying they're not, but we are having children born every day. But that's different than saying that somebody getting raped, murdered, all of this so that future generations can flourish. I don't see, even by your moral philosophy, where in the Bible. You're just begging the happen. question. You're begging the question again. You still have not answered. You posited the hypothetical, not me, to me. If you said. And said, what money. would you and said, what would you do? I say I would do X. You say that's completely immoral, but you haven't justified why. I just told you why. I why? just told you say it that again. I believe I believe that we you, have I believe is justification. I believe, I believe in God. Am I justified? Well, I'm telling you, the whole <laughs> in all of morality is about our beliefs. So you think I believe you're like, oh, you can't do that. There is no objective morality. It's not epistemic justification. Just say I, I believe with my sky god. So it's all my preference and your preference. Yeah, my preference, your press. Here we go again with the moral in intuition.
Okay. This is, this is one of her, her little rhetoric pieces, moral intuition. Well, it works both ways. So if I went out and like she said, raped somebody, oh, well, my moral intuition told me it was okay. So it's about how you feel, how I feel. Forget about rules and laws. Oh, I shot that. Oh, because my moral intuition said it was okay. This is called values clarification. Okay. They started this way back in the seventies, maybe earlier values clarification. Okay. It's, it goes something like this. Well, Johnny's mother and father argued. Johnny killed his father. It's okay that Johnny killed his father because Johnny's father hit his mother. Do you you understand what that is? That's called values clarification. No, it is not okay because you are not God. So it is not okay to kill. Okay. Thou shall not kill. That's how that works. It is immoral. It is immoral. How have we gotten so far from common sense? I don't care if you believe in God. I don't care what you believe in. That is just something human nature. If if that, if if what she's saying actually existed, people would just go around just killing people nonsense. There'd be nobody left. You understand that? There'd be nobody left. There is something inside of people, okay? Regular average people that say, I shouldn't hurt this person. I shouldn't kill a cat. I shouldn't kill her, him, whatever. And she's saying, moral intuition says, well, it depends on how I feel. So, okay, I killed my father because he hit my mother and I felt like it and that makes it okay. Values clarification, how disgusting. We have really been failed by this school system. Let me tell you. Oh, and it's a German Prussian system, by the way. Don't think it's something that we came up with. Preferences to follow your book. We're all just talking about our preferences here. That's what we're doing. And my pre- my moral preferences tell me that it is wrong. My moral preference. My moral preference. There is no right and wrong. No accountability with these hoes. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Young children are looking up to her. This is a lawyer. This is a lawyer. Think about this. Now you're going to have a slew of, uh, you, there already are a slew of, you know, young young women that, you know, just want to be on OnlyFans. But now you're like, oh, see, it, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. She's a whole lawyer. She does prostitution and pornography on OnlyFans. And she's a lawyer. So, I mean, why is that bad? Like, people. This is actually so sad. It really is. Wrong to harm, kill, and torture damn near current people. 80% of women. Bring that back. What is she? She's talking about what's wrong. The current people, 80% of women in modern society. Oh, does it? Future people can live. I don't think that's moral. And you think it is based on your moral philosophy, which actually I don't even think many. Well, if that's true, then let me ask you a question right? Would you bind and torture 1,000 people right now if it would stop the Holocaust? Would you do that? She has to think about that? (laughs) Can you imagine? Look at her. She's thinking about it. She's like, um, look at this. She's thinking about that. We're talking about millions of people that died. She's thinking about that. Wow. Let me bring that back. That is some deep stuff. To bind and torture one. Th- I got to bring it back. I don't even think many. Crit- well, if that's true, then let me ask you a question, right? Would you bind and torture 1000 people right now? If it would stop the Holocaust, would you would do I- that? No. You wouldn't? You just let 6 million people die? I horribly? Mean, I, I, if you want to get into the. Can you imagine what she just said? Can you imagine what she just said? She said no. But she'll kill a baby though and vote for abortion. You can kill millions of those. That's okay. How nuts is that? This is a pro-abortion fetal homicide woman here. Think about that. Trolley exercises. No, here. I'm asking. I'm asking. Would but you? Would you do it? 
super off topic. My my question. Would you torture? Is, oh, see, when she can't answer the when she realizes that she's really stuck and he cornered her. Now she's like, oh, this is off topic. This is off topic. It's only off topic, okay, when she doesn't have an answer. Because you know something, I started realizing something. These trained operatives, okay, because that's what I believe they are. You can only do so much training especially in today's society. See, back in the 70s and 60s, and when you were taking down like the Black Panthers, you're talking about intellects that studied. It took time. Now everybody's just like, oh, I'm going to go to the sea. I, one minute. Oh, two weeks of courses. It's like doctors. Oh, I could become a surgeon in two weeks. Like this is, this is oh, I did it online. I got an only thing. Think about what I'm saying, right? This girl actually is sitting here, and I think a lot of these girls, Pixie, her, the other one, Farah Khalidi, I think it comes to a point where they actually are sitting in these debates going, oh my gosh, what I am saying makes absolutely no sense. I have to say it because I've already went there. You know what I mean? I don't really actually think they believe what they're saying. You get it? Because they know it doesn't make any sense when they have to sit across from the crucible and he makes you look like an, okay? Hang on, would you torture one person to, to do st- it? To stop the Holocaust? Are, yeah. are, we, are we going into the trolley stuff? Answer my Where question. I'm testing your logic. Would you torture just one person to do it? No. No. Why? Because I don't, I'm not a utilitarianist. I'm not, I'm not a, I don't believe in utilitarianism. So what's your epistemic foundation then for your morality? I, if it's not consequences, it's not like duty, is what is it? Oh, this is so insane. This is so insane. Do you understand what is going on here? She is the reason why the handmaid's tale is actually coming. And the crucible, okay, is going to be the one to put it in. I'm not kidding you people. It's this not consequences. Like, it's not duty. Like, what is it? Admitted, you just said the same thing. There isn't an objective one. So is the, is the debate about my personal? Do I have to be like you are either a utilitarian, you are consequentialist, you are religious? Are you, well, you asking to give me something? About my personal? Uh, yes. Well, well, personal it's your listen, lady, them. lady. We're it's your worldview. It, wow, this is getting great. You know something? <laughs> You know what? Let me tell you what. You know what he's doing right now? He's smoking his cigarette. He's doing... He is... Gonna, the Handmaid's Tale is coming. He's going to be the king on the castle, whatever it is. And he's going to be doing his Bruce Springsteen. He's like, everybody's got a hungry heart. The Crucible is haunting Jasmine Jafar. Pretty soon she's going to be my slave. Working in my kitchen like a handmaid. Hey! Do I have enough gel? Hey, hey, stop the music. Is that Jasmine Jafar? Stone her before she crosses the Jersey border, all right? One, two, three, uh, do, do, do. Do you understand what I'm saying here? (laughs) This is literally, this is literally what I'm looking at. It's crazy. It is crazy. There, a few years from now, we're going to look back at this and we're going to be like, (laughs) DeBravo was right. It's your worldview. You, you tell me that they're not right because they're not objective. And I'm saying, no, I'm not saying, I'm not even asking you for an objective metric. Your metric right now are actually contradicting themselves. Why? Right. So in this case, because you're an idiot. If you had to torture one person or a thousand people to literally stop the Holocaust, you do it, you idiot. Is she nuts? This is why women shouldn't be in power. This, you know what? This is, you know what? She's in, she, Kamala Harris. This is how we have a vice president like Kamala Harris. This this is what we're breeding. Think about this. Anybody out here, okay, that's from Israel or has family or people, you tell me what you think about this. I want to know. This woman is actually saying that she would not torture one person to stop an entire Holocaust, where millions, six million people were killed. That is nuts. Hey, she would have to say that you're like some kind of deontologist, and you believe that. So if I, I ask you, so I'm going to ask you, you, you this to, question. You put me into I'm going to prove this. Hang on, lady, okay. lady, stop. I'm going to prove this to you. Oh, he's saying, lady, lady, <laughs> girl, you, you're going to be shovel, sho- shovel, shovel, shovel. Marie, that was for you. <laughs> Do you, you think that it's the equivalent? Stealing one penny is the equivalent of stealing somebody's house. No. No. Why? What do you mean? Why? Why? Why is one penny? Why is it not the equivalent of that? Okay. This is the thing. If you, because you really want me to just.
This is why you can't debate the crucible, Jasmine. You hoe 304 lawyer. <laughs> You're not on his level, dear. This is the thing. If you, because you really want me to just give you a position, you, the way you debate is honestly like you, you find these questions that are really difficult to answer. And if I can't give you, so if that makes you feel really difficult to answer, at least she admitted one thing. She got one thing right. <laughs> difficult to answer i want to see her degree somebody send me this girl's degree there is absolutely no way on earth she did not become a certified lawyer from onlyfans.com <laughs> i mean you're telling me she got this what from brown university i mean it wouldn't surprise me at this point brown yale i mean they're all the same she, I can't, they're really difficult. I got to bring this back. This, and what is this guy doing? All he does is scratch his neck. What the heck is going on? You know, this guy's got like crabs or something. <laughs> what is going on with him? He needs some antibacterial cream. Uh, don't ever step on this studio. Actually, he's probably had way too many OnlyFans models up in there. He yeah, caught some Z. It is honestly like you, you find these questions that are really difficult to answer. And if I can't give you, so if that makes you feel better, I'm a moral non-cognitivist. That is my moral. That is. There's her big word. Moral. That is, that is my foundation. And what's a moral non-cognitiveness? You don't know. Sorry, guys. These big words. She doesn't even know what it means. And it's, she's making it up right now. You better call the CIA and tell them to send your earpiece, girl. You cannot debate these people without a remote earpiece. Call Joe and get his... You need help. Bottom line. Cognitiveness? You don't... It's, it means that I don't believe in objective morality. I think everything is kind of based on our moral preferences. That's basically what I told you. Okay. So, so, uh, my you moral, believe in, so, so nothing's moral. Moral intuition is basically what I think most of us are going by, including yourself. You're well, also... Then, just, uh, you're, it, okay, and that's subjective, right? Not objective by your metric, yes, right? Yeah, it is subjective. Okay, so then why should we listen to a fucking word that you're saying? Why if should we listen to a fucking if you're word saying, you're saying? If you're saying, I have a subjective standard and I'm trying to apply this... Why should we listen to a word he's saying because... Because he's a decent man that makes sense. It's called common sense. Why should we not listen to a word you're saying? Because you are an OnlyFans prostitute. And we don't listen to prostitutes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay? End of story. <laughs> and I, you're probably not even that good at it. You might want to try Pilates. I don't know. My help. Objective standard. And I think you should follow that subjective standard because... My what? position <laughs> isn't that I have a subjective standard. My position is all of us have a subjective standard. It's yeah, that's worse. Yeah, that's, so by that, 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 that follows check, then. Who yeah. can we even follow? That's the thing. Yeah, it's exactly. Who yeah, By your standard, who the fuck can we ever follow? Yeah, for by your standard, for anything? it's you and your God. <laughs> that's, not what our, that's not what this country decided to do. That's not what our founding fathers wanted. So you maybe should. She knows what the founding fathers wanted because I'm sure that the founding fathers had it all planned out that, you know, we're going to have this. We're going to have an OnlyFans site. We're going to have prostitutes. We're going to have them speaking and, and talking about politics, <laughs> making no sense, and, and going against everything that the founding fathers wrote in the Constitution, you idiot. Is she nuts? I mean, what are you talking about? This is the same bra that, you know, if when Roe versus Wade, if she was alive, that would be the first one on the picket line to murder your baby. That's what the founding fathers want. Get the fuck out and go into one of these patriarchal societies where they. Oh, I see. Your moral I see. So the status quo, the status quo is all that matters. Moral philosophy, mm -hmm. and as much as you want to have these hypotheticals, like that's the thing. It's like the least threatening thing ever. Obviously, I want my values to prevail, prevail in my society. And if my biggest threat is Andrew the Crucible sitting here being like, "Well, if all the men fought all the women, like it would just be," I'm like, "Great, we're, we're gonna win. We're great." No, we're you great. don't need. All I I hope he doesn't get on that Bruce Street. Everybody's got a hungry heart. Give me a stone. <laughs> She's not afraid of him. I'm afraid of him. Oh, you don't need all the men to fight all the women. You just need to have the institutions where the enforcement arm of men are, and then you win the game. It's very simple. Oh, and if you think that the right can't do that, and haven't traditionally been able to do that, you're smoking crack, lady, so because they, they have. It? They're doing it why now. Doing it? Not only why are they doing it now, but you see where more. The host is like, crack? Where? Is there crack? Hold on. I smell crack. Crack? Can I get a hit? I'm so itchy. <sighs> These broads, man. They've been giving me. <sighs> they <scared> me. <laughs> why is this guy 
doing? He hasn't said a word since the thing started. I mean, is he even going to speak? Is he moderating this thing or is he just scratching, drinking, positioning himself? They're doing it Why now. Doing it? Not only Why? are they doing it now, but you see Where's more of a political polarization. For instance, you saw what happened with Mulvaney. You see what's happening with various people across the nation. Yeah, you, the I, I, hang on, let me finish. You, you got did. boycotts. You got everything. The right is beginning to mobilize. Yes, and they, you know, he's very right. Think about that. Budweiser, Dylan Mulvaney, obviously. If you know, Dylan Mulvaney is the transsexual female that Budweiser chose to promote their beer. Can you imagine? <laughs> they didn't do it with, they weren't able to do with Nike, anything else, but cheap beer is something that I guess conservatives love to consume. And they great. didn't collectivize. They I haven't collectivized in years. If you want to boycott beer, <laughs> Sure, go for it. I'm not threatened by that. I don't think you're going to come and take my rights. Yeah, to, but go we, but, the question, but to go back to the The thing is, question, it's like, but, I need you to understand me, what you're saying. You you're saying me, to me that if we now, did come and we took you all of your me, rights, hang on, you hey, I'm going to finish and then you can finish, I promise. If we did come, if the evil patriarchy did get the institutions and they did take your rights and they made you, they forced you to be inside of a home where they randomly like walked in and said, lady, you're going to have X amount of kids every single day. You say to me that since everything is a subjective standard, you can't even say that that's immoral. Do you realize what it's you have done? Of, what you yeah, have done saying is that there's no standard other than our own intuition. So if our intuition is that that's what you do, you have no argument to tell me that that isn't what you should do. I agree. So that's why he just killed her. Put a fork in her. She's done. Oh, Lord. Dude. I agree. So that's why I'm like, thank fucking God that the lunatics like you that think you should be able to go in and murder and kill to, to, to keep. I didn't say should. Are, are but she literally sends people in to murder and kill. <laughs> think about that. Think about that. She literally is for the war, for the, but, you know, if, it, if, it, if it's about her rights and her freedom, it's okay for our men to die. Right? It's okay for that because it's all about women's happiness. You know, that's what it's about. It's women, women's happiness. Yep. Absolutely. Let's, let's have female pilots so that we can make other women happy. It's okay if we kill a bunch of people on planes. Don't worry. We'll get past it. We'll make them better. We'll watch them grow. We'll watch them grow. This is why I won't fly commercial because I am not showing up to a flight with a female pilot. Minority. I didn't say should. Not, because you're also didn't saying say that. that you have your morality that's supposedly objective <laughs> that you can't get enforced. It seems like you can't get enforced for shit is, is what's going to uh, continue uh, in the future. So then my question you is have you know, no you business. Let you said you yeah, let go me ahead. I'm sorry. I'll let you finish. And my question to you now is to get us back on topic in me. All right. I am a 28 year old woman, highly educated. I'm pretty fucking rich from OnlyFans. Why she's bragging about that, by the way. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty freaking rich from OnlyFans prostitution. Like, why should I get into a relationship and have a patriarchal underpinning to my relationship? Can you tell me why I should yeah, do that in the United States in 2020? In fact, I can prove it to you using your own logic why you should. Okay. Because if anybody comes to make you do that, you have no argument whatsoever from a moral standpoint as to why they shouldn't. That's why you should. Because you nobody has a moral argument. My position is nobody has a, a, a moral let's, argument because let you, exactly. you can have that. Nobody has, has one. <laughs> you notice it's like these women never let him speak. They never, her, she never lets him speak. It, it's like you yell at him when he's, you know, talking over you or at all, if he does. And, and, but you can consistently scream over him, never let him get his point across. And you know why she's doing that? Because I really honestly think that, which this is very serious people. I don't really think she's actually comprehending what he's actually saying. I really don't. I really don't think she's comprehending a lot of it, which is even scarier. <laughs> Nobody has one. Nobody has a single moral argument for why you shouldn't do that. So if they do, if the patriarchy does do it, okay, and they do make you do work? that, okay, you have nothing you to say about that. Right, nothing. No, so I'm going to turn it to you now. Can you tell me where, where you get your morals? Why is that morally wrong? <sighs> tell me why. Sure. Before you answer the question. He speaks. He speaks. Okay.
Okay, let's hear what he's got to say. I'm going to bring it back. We got to hear him out. Well, tell me why. You know, sure. you know, Andrew, Andrew, before you answer the question, uh, in about four minutes at the one hour mark, I am going to more aggressively bring it back to the initial topic. You guys okay. are having a good discussion, so I'm going to let it go for another four minutes, but then I am going to bring it back. So go ahead. Okay, so my question. He let all that go, and now he's going to bring it back to the other time. He had nothing to say. Well, I'm sorry. He was too itchy. He needs some cortisone cream. Question to you, Andrew, is two. Well, number one, uh, where, why, why do you think it's morally moral? Where do you get your moral philosophy? And also, how do you think that that should be infringed on to, or, or enforced on everyone else? And then my second question is, is that uh, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, me and most of the women like me, we're not worried about somebody coming into our house. I have like three guards before you even get to like three. Yeah, guys. who are all men? So my question yeah. here is that why the female guard? do you have like a female guard no <laughs> notice she skips over that question she, anytime somebody gives like, like a common sense little remark like yeah your guards aren't female right they just they, they they gloss over it they just figure out a way to like get past it it's so obvious it's ridiculous it really is this whole narrative is just absolutely so nonsensical. A home in, let me finish. The threat of a home invasion where someone's going to come force me to breed is just not at the forefront of my mind. And so tell me a good reason, a real reason mm -hmm. that I should live by your standard on in my relationships and in my life in general and what you're predicating your morality on. Because I love I moral just, philosophy. Listen, I've done a lot. What? If, you, if you have done moral philosophy, and I actually don't even understand why you're asking me this question. The predication of why it's totally and completely justified for me to do whatever the fuck I want and anybody else to you is because you yourself say that you don't believe that there's a single well, argument in existence. Stop. Because you say there isn't a single argument in existence which you can offer as a refutation for why they shouldn't. So if they, if you can't there offer are. why they shouldn't, then why shouldn't they? My question. You didn't answer my question. That so is answering ask your question. question. No, my question. My, you're, you're asking a question. Wow, she just literally. She, I don't. I'm telling you, this girl is one of the worst debaters ever. Okay, you, this is what, you shouldn't be sitting across from men debating. Period. It's very unattractive. It's not ladylike, number one. And number two, if you can't debate and you're not good at it, okay, don't do it. You're not helping your cause, I can tell you that. You're making your entire uh, uh, narrative, your entire reasoning look ridiculous. You're asking a question back. I, my question to you is- I didn't ask you a question. You think, no, why do you think there are moral truths? Oh, so you, oh, you want to know my epistemology? Yes. Well, so for me, it's divine command and it's based around divine command theory. Absolutely. Okay. So see, and that, you know, something, okay, here we go. This is the problem with all of this radical feminism and these, you know, extreme left ideas, no accountability. There's no God. This is why you can go on OnlyFans and be a prostitute because there's no one to answer to. There's it's no accountability. Okay. It's, it, I can go be a whore. I can, you know, hedonism, go do this, go do that, you know, body counts and all this disgusting talk, you know, acting like a man, debating like a man, dressing like trash, no accountability, no God. At the end of the day, I, I always say, oh God, you know, forgive me for my sins because I'm afraid of God. I fear God because I respect God. They don't respect anybody because they don't believe in anything. Their religion is actually, in my opinion, the Democratic Party. That's what that is. Oh, my, so so for most of for the, those of us who don't want to believe in divine command based on absolutely no fucking. Yeah, why would you care? Anyone. You don't have an objective then what? argument. Then what, right? against, so there are. So I would even argue that there's, not, there's no argument do, actually that further the well-being of society. And there are one thing there's no, that no, will, that will no. not. You just don't know what you those can't are. make that argument because from your standpoint, there's no possible way for me to be wrong in, in moral com in divine command theory because you have zero justifications for any morality whatsoever no, and I, make the bold claim you're not there's wrong. not a single you're argument not which can be offered okay. against me having divine command theory. You, you literally can, no, just said that's that. That's what I mean. It's just stupid. Did you get what he just did to her? Wow. Wow. Yeah, you should just be like, can I go home? Can I go home? Like, he just... He kills her. You know, over, I don't understand how these girls just continue to do this to themselves. I don't understand it.
<laughs> you know, t- earlier today, I, I was on a, uh, I was invited to be on the Saint and the Sinners platform, which I was so appreciative of because, first of all, he's one of the scariest people on the planet. This girl actually sat across from him and thought she was going to get somewhere. <laughs> it's like you're dealing with another level of intellect. You're here, okay? He's in the stratosphere. You're not going to debate. It's not even, you can't even consider it a debate. You're not debating the saint and the sinner. You're not debating the crucible. You're really just sitting here making yourself look foolish. It's just stupid. Just like nobody else can have uh, like a, a, if someone said I'm getting my morals from Harry Potter and I'm going to go by the wizarding world of Harry Potter. I mean, I can't tell you why that's objectively morally wrong. You're just a fucking idiot to me. And oh, I mean, I'm so great. grateful that our society, the fact that your argument our is has you're stupid. It's because you're structured stupid. The way that's you why. Would like to be structured. <laughs> that's the reality of it. So my second question was, why should I? <laughs> The crucible. He's like, oh, I'm killing her. I'm killing her. I'm killing her. And then he's like, oh my God. And this dude down here, what is he doing? He's like, what? What's going on? I'm so lost. <laughs> I don't even think he knows. But either he's high or what? Like, he's like, what is going on? Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the dynamics here are so strange. The question was, why should I, a woman in modern society who lives in a secular country? Yeah, you're a woman in modern society because cre- men created it for you, okay? I mean, I, I just can't. You're a woman in modern society because men allowed you to be. Are you not getting it? You're literally ruining lives for the rest of us women. Do you not understand that? What is my future going to be in 20 years? Who knows? Because of whore prostitute only fans, model prostitutes, 304 lawyer CIA operatives like you and your dumb narratives that you're pushing for like George Soros or whoever's funding you. I mean, you can't, I mean, I've seen her. You're, you're telling me that somebody's paying to actually see her on OnlyFans? I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with my theory is it, it's possible that George Soros or Nancy Pelosi are, is just making some deposits in your crap. I mean, really? You are literally ruining my life for your nonsense. Dangerous. That's why other women that have conservative thoughts, even not conservative, forget about left and right and all that. None of that matters anymore. Common sense, morals, dignity, values, respect. Open your mouths, ladies. Do something. Is this who you want running the government? Because you know what's going to happen if that happens. I mean, we've already got Kamala in office. Scary. Secular country, <sighs> and that is a foundational pillar of my secular country. Go by your divine command. Because you don't have a you. single refutational argument for why you shouldn't. So therefore, my any refutational argument for why therefore I any way my lady, life my stop asking me questions and then not letting me answer them but again. I'm answering it as concisely as it can possibly be answered. The reason is, is because if you have literally no epistemology and offer zero refutations for why somebody shouldn't do anything to you, no arguments against it, no reason why you think it's right or wrong, and they do do something to you, you can't tell them that that's wrong, or you can't tell them they shouldn't do that. You have no basis for an ought claim. Okay, so this is the thing. You're taking my deep, 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 deep moral, like at the basis of my moral foundation. That's right, your foundations. I say, no, you should do things because that's what the law say, and that's also, I believe, this is, and I agree, it's what I believe. You believe in your God, and I believe that people should not harm other people because I think that overall, the well-being of society is not going to be facilitated Facilitated by that. I also- no, 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 no. I'm not letting her get away with that. No, no, no. She doesn't believe that people should not harm other people because whatever. No, she believes in moral intuition. Okay, don't don't get it twisted here, Jasmine. Okay, no, no, no. You said moral intuition. What is moral intuition exactly? Hmm? What is it? If I feel a way, it's okay. Values clarification. That's what that is. No, we have laws in place to keep people civil. Do you understand that? Because think about this. 
What would it be if we had absolutely no laws? If no laws were enforced, could you imagine? It, there would be no civilization anymore. Back in the days of, you know, cave, I don't know, running around, you know, e whatever you want to call it, assaulting women. Doing, I mean, and, and who do you think has the advantage, men or women? Men or women? Look, it comes down to actual physics, people. <laughs> a woman is never going to fight a man. <laughs> it's not happening. You're not taking a group of men and a group of women and women are going to fight them. Facilitated by that. I also don't think for the well-being of, of society is good to live in the, with the kind of morality that you have and your weird twisted version of your divine command. Because I've never heard Christians like say that they would be okay with raping and killing people. Neither so did I. I never see what they do. See what people like her do. They literally take these little narratives that they want to push out there and they keep pushing it. He never said any such thing. But she can go around and say that he said it, and this is what he means by it, okay? And then that becomes truth. It becomes facts. It's just like what the news does. News is all opinion now. There are no facts anymore, okay? If you say X about X, it's X, whether, whether there's facts to back it up or not. It's ridiculous. It's scary. Because if, if what's going on with men, like, oh, uh, he assaulted me 48 years ago. I can't remember which year or where it was or I, or if it was even him for that minute, but I think it was, and he has what, 10 million in the bank? Okay, so yeah, with him. What do you think is gonna happen at some point? You think this is gonna keep going? No. Hey, I never made the affirmative claim I would. I asked a hypothetical to test your logic. Yeah, I never no, made the affirmative claim I'd be okay with anything. You, no, 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 I asked you if you think that's okay and you said that, yeah, if 80%- you know something, actually? You know what she's doing? She's actually turning the crucible into like a Hegelian dialectic. Think about it. You've got these OnlyFans prostitutes running around debating the, the crucible, right? Why, I don't know. Let's just start there. Why, I don't know. Because you're, you're allowing them in your space, right? And then they can turn around and take little bits and pieces of what you said and say that it meant something else. Now they've created a problem and then they're going to give us the solution. What's the solution? Deplatform the crucible, put them in jail. I don't know. You, you see where, you see where I'm going here? This is dangerous. Letting these possible CIA operatives like her in this space because First of all, you're not going to talk any sense into her, okay? You're not changing her. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force the horse to drink. And she's not going to change, right? She's already destroyed her life. So what is the purpose of debating her in your space? Are you on her platform doing this? No, you're on a manosphere or men's type of space. This is so dangerous, guys. It really is. It's diluting the message. It's diluting the message and you're, you're giving them power by doing this. The percent of women were getting killed. If there was a greater duty to the human, yeah, justified. and every Christian would tell you the same thing. So, that, so my question that, is, no, so let me finish. Let me finish. Every Christian would tell you, every one of them would tell you that we operate off of duty and virtue. So we're going to look at each individual situation, no matter how absurd the hypothetical, and it's easy for me to bite a bullet and just say there would be a higher duty then. And almost oh. all rational people on planet Earth would agree, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I just want this. I want to restate this. And I also want all Christians to also take, I want to know what most Christians would believe. It is rational <laughs> and it is duty in my hypothetical to kill rape and force women didn't to say anything about killing i that is the rational duty moral and that is the what? christian response here i don't think the majority of christians would agree with you if you all. were to ask any rational agent not just a christian but almost everybody who's a rational agent if the perpetuation of the human species as an imperative was how more ways? important than a temporary condition of how women might feel they would say oh, a yes. temporary condition of my woman might feel because when in my hypothetical you you were talking about making them breed and then you talking about breeding facilities and then having based they on what killed. condition so i am based totally on what fine. condition you know what i am totally fine I am <laughs> this totally is fine. fucking hilarious i you totally straw man a million fine. times it's your hypothetical I, like, are you getting this she came up with that whole idea 
This is what she does. Now she's twisting it and saying that he came up with the idea of force breeding women because if the world was coming, she came up with that. But now she's changed it around. She's moved, you know, the goalpost. She's totally changed the narrative here that it wasn't her, it was him. And now we can go around saying the crucible has to be, you know, removed because this is what the narrative he's pushing and he wants to force all of us women into a breeding facility and bring back the handmaid's tale while he sits up on a castle singing, everybody's got a hungry heart. Men, please. I know it's difficult to listen to females. Just at least take into consideration what I'm saying. Dangerous to have these people on their your platforms. It really is. I am totally fine with leaving this here. Your position is that a rational agent would think that's justified. My position is that it's not, and we can leave it there. Now to get back onto topic, because we're, we're not going to go into these crazy hypotheticals anymore. Right now, 2020- We just went into your crazy- It's her hypothetical. Listen to what the Crucible's saying. Oh my God. Right now, 2020. We just went into your crazy hypothetical. Jasmine, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jasmine Jafar, I'm, I'm done with them. 2020, I'm okay with leaving it there because your position is actually so fucking insane that I, th I don't think there's more to be said. So in 2023. Your position is that the human Jafar, race goes extinct and you Jasmine think that's Jafar, rational. Why should I, because this is the society I live in. I, I don't have a moral foundation. My epistemology is not so fucking neat as to why this ought to be the case or whatever, but it is the case because that's what the question of the debate is. Mm -hmm. Is patriarchy uh, healthy or not healthy? Not should it be if if this society was actually the way it is should it be if the divine command was actually uh, my question is what can you tell me right now mm -hmm. in my life and the women like me why should we follow that yeah you because just you just well you just re actually refuted yourself in your question so oh. your question that you asked me was this even though I, Jasmine Jafar, have absolutely no epistemology, can't make any ought claims, nor tell you why anything is right and wrong, why should I to comply with whatever it is you tell me I ought to do? And the or answer, the they actually, the hang on. The, on right, right, it's the, not on me. I'm the trying to explain. You. You're saying Lady, you have to stop talking so I can explain this to you because you don't get it. It's self-refuting. So it's you asking, lady, stop. You asking. She's interrupting him because she doesn't want him getting that point across. Do you understand? They're trained to do this. That's why they keep doing that. It's only in key places that she does it. Asking the question and by prefacing it with, I have absolutely no moral objection to anything that you do, but why should I follow what you, you do? It, well, then can we get to whatever that is? That's my thing. I just said, I believe <laughs> in generally the my moral principle, which is based on my moral preference. Your moral preference is divine command. Mine is generally the no harm principle. And I don't believe that. I believe you should do whatever you want to make you happy. Freedom. I believe in freedom. I guess you don't, but it shouldn't harm other people. That's my moral principle. Okay, now, so I the no harm principle then. Can you clarify what that means to, i'm to just asking you to clarify this one thing so, so you're saying she can't clarify it because she doesn't know what it means <laughs> she doesn't know what it means it's a talking point that she memorized oh my god i should follow you so i asked you why should i do what you say and you say because it's self-evident in what i said is there any other reason <laughs> Is there any other reason like, why like, I should listen don't, other why, than why that? Don't, why, don't you, why don't you understand this? If you make the affirmative claim that you, Jasmine Jafar, have no moral objections to anything that anybody does ever and, that I cannot, live in a patriarchy? and cannot produce one, then if somebody comes in and says, well, you're going to do this now, you have no moral objection, so why shouldn't you do it? It doesn't even, my point is, it doesn't matter if I have a moral objection or not, because if these people come in and force me to do shit, it doesn't fucking matter what my epistemology is or what my moral philosophy is. If I'm raped and forced to breathe, then, then how I'm do you know what you should or shouldn't my do, question dummy? question to you is... <laughs> how do you know what you should do? Why should I have my relationship be centered or have patriarchal <laughs> underpinning to my relationship? You're saying just because it's so self-evident because I don't have, I don't believe in objective morality. So you're saying if there's no objective morality, then you should be in a, uh, you should uh, have patriarchy in your relationship that's yeah, what you're let, saying let me really quickly bridge the gap i think andrew what she's asking is uh, from a utilitarian or from a consequence perspective why is your worldview or your system uh, something that she, that would be beneficial to her or beneficial to her family i think that's what she's asking so i'm going to i'm going to i'll try to answer this again for like the 17th he's an idiot too my god i can't even believe he's asking that the crucible answered that like 30 times already. Time, but don't cut oh, me off this time. 
and I'll just answer it, okay? If you were to say to me, why shouldn't I impose feminism on you? I'd say because of this objection that I have to it, this moral objection that I have That's to it. That's not my Here, question. Just let me finish. Right. If you were to ask me, if you were to, and you can ask as many times as you want, but the answer is not going to change because of this. Right. I would right. give you a refutation for why this ought not be the case. And I'm not asking why ought not. Shut I'm the asking fuck why up I and let me finish. No, so that you, can, you can't understand simple concepts. You're too stupid. No, why can't uh, you understand? I, he called it. I called it. I called it. She's too stupid. This is where you only fans degree lawyer. 304 lawyer self-proclaimed hey I, I didn't say it she said she did this okay i'm not let you fucking you. understand a basic this is basic is. logic basic alex just, just why, why don't you get it like let me explain it just stop talking for a second so okay, i can explain it to you it. Okay, if you if you ask me a question, I can give you a moral refutation. If I ask you for a moral refutation about anything, about gum, about why you don't want to fucking pack a gum, whatever it is, if you have no refutation for why I shouldn't do that, then there's no argument to be had because you're just conceding. I can do whatever the fuck I want. All right, are you finished? Can I? Okay, so I'm going to say again, you're no accountability, no accountability. Thou shall not kill because God says do not kill. Okay, there you go. Hello? She doesn't believe in anything, except hoeing, of course. The whole thing started with not even about morals or anything. It was about enforcement. So my question to you, again, is if you don't have a way to enforce this, or we're in modern society, why should I listen to you? Should I only listen to you because I don't have a moral refutation as to what? Then if someone comes to me and says, you should live your life as a furry, and I go, well, I don't have, I don't believe in objective morality, so should I just live my life as a furry? Does my, like, are you That's just actually awesome that you just said that. So yes, the answer would be, if you have no moral objection to why somebody shouldn't live as a furry i guess you should let them live as a furry huh yeah i think i should let them live as a furry i'm asking you why, why i should no, do what you i can't want. did you just understand my why point finally i do what, what you want like I, i'm not talking like you're talking about <laughs> amazing you just, don't have an enforce you, you can't if we're talking about this question gloria steinem is going like this she's like she's throwing things she's <laughs> get that's it. She's like, Gloria, why'd you have to screw me? I'm gonna kill her. Where is she, my pretty? Get the stones and get rid of her. <laughs> you don't gotta worry about the crucible. Gloria's on her way to your apartment right now with a whole crew of CIA agents in her bunny tail from Playboy Days, and she is going to strangle you herself. <laughs> you couldn't make her look any stupider. <laughs> this poor guy, he's got to change. I see why he smokes. <laughs> I mean, he's got to have a headache from hell right now. Question. The crux <laughs> of the debate is, is patriarchy healthy or unhealthy for relationships? You're like, well, we couldn't. Right now, you have no enforcement, right? You you know that. You have no way to enforce the shit you want to enforce. So in why, what are you going to tell women right now, modern women like me, the ones that are running this fucking country, tell me exactly why, with no enforcement mechanism, mm -hmm. why I should listen to you? I don't have to tell all of the women who are like you anything because you have no objection to any standard I would imply. This is not the fucking question. Alex, it is, it, I, I just it's answered it 50 question. times. Like, there's don't no like better concise question. way my I could question. answer this. So then, no, that's my point. You don't tell people that you should listen to what I say because you don't have an objective moral framework and I have a God. That's not how you get people to, to listen to you. I'm asking you why two people right now... No, you get people to listen to you by taking your clothes off and going on OnlyFans. <laughs> okay, okay, Jasmine. Let me know when Gloria Steinem shows up. <laughs> Let me know how that worked out for you. Because, you know, she's still around, by the way. Who are living in New York in 2023, and they're like, I don't know how to have our relationship. And you're going to say, well, you should do my way because my book says so, and she doesn't have a, a, a epistemology, like, it doesn't have... She doesn't have any objection to it, then why wouldn't she do it? I, that's my, my thing is do whatever you want. But if she says, actually, I don't really do whatever you want, do whatever you want, get your guitar. See, he's got a guitar back there. Start strumming, get the stones out and get rid of her. Do whatever you want. She said it. She said it. Put her in a camp, make her breed. Actually, I don't even know if that's a good idea. Those genetics might not be too good for the future of humanity.
really want a man to come. I don't want there to be an imbalance. Of then that's power. an objection. Like, then that's an objection. And then if you say to and then if you say to her, and then if you say to her, moral objection, stop talking. And if you say to her, then if you, then if you, then if you, a lot of objections. Lady, you're not listening. Then if you say to her, then if you say to her, oh, okay, you have that objective. Why do you have that objective? And she goes, actually, I don't really have a reason why I have that. I don't really have a reason. I actually have no reason why I object to it. Then why the fuck would you care? Why wouldn't she do it? I I don't care. My point is, if she's sitting right here and she goes, I don't, I don't think I'd be happy. And I don't want my man to have, to be the leader in the relationship. I want things to be equal. And you go, do you have a moral basis for that? No, I just don't want to live my life that way. Will you say, so that would be a presupp. Why would she listen to that? What the fuck kind of reason? Because, because that would be, what you're saying is that women have no logic then, because that would be a presupposition based on nothing. If you pointed that out and said, wait a second. Are you presupposing something with zero justification? She you was like, hang on. And she right. was like, you yeah, that the other I am way. actually. I tell her, hey, actually, you should be the leader in the relationship and he shouldn't be the leader. And if she, do- if she doesn't believe in objective morality and I'm like, do you have a reason not to do that? It's and not she's like, not really. Then, then why not have it be Why not have it be that way? Why don't why you not understand have it that you can make a subjective moral argument too? You just won't even do that. You just the say that there is no moral argument. argument. Is, like I said in the beginning, in my opening, I believe that people... People should do what's best for them. You're saying they should do what's based best on for what? You based on their preferences and what makes them happy. So that if it made everybody point. happy, if it made everybody yourself, happy to imprison, say, hey, yes. patriarch, a patriarchal <laughs> relationship doesn't make me happy. What do you have? What so do you if, have so, that actually yeah. could make me? Con- you know what would make me really happy right now if she would zip it up. <laughs> you know what would make me happy if you gentlemen never brought her back on enter- any of your platforms again. <laughs> That would make a lot of people happy because listening to her is like an explosion in my brain. I'm going to answer your question again. I'll answer your question again. Okay, How many times is he going to answer the same question? <laughs> it's like, are you dealing with Mexicans that just came off the border that don't speak the language and don't understand anything here? My God, it's like a remedial course. This is what happens with colleges. You got to back in remedial courses at 28 years old. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Under your I metric, under your, under your metric right now, you just said, you said the, the metric that I have, and I promise you said this, is whatever makes them happy. It's whatever makes people happy. So what if it made people happy to lock up women and abuse them mercilessly and it made the majority of almost everybody happy on planet Earth that to do this? What no would your objection be? <laughs> Why is the, and again, the no harm principle is based on what? Freedom until it infringes on based someone else's freedom. What? What foundation? What? Wait, okay, okay. Uh, Alex, can you let me know? Are we going to go down this? Because he just keeps trying to go down. Now she's calling for the moderator to save her. <laughs> this is worse than the U.S. Open when Serena is going up going, oh, <laughs> please, I know I didn't work out. <laughs> what did I do? I can't end my career this way. I will not let a 19-year-old outdo me. I, I can do it. Please. Wait, can we stop the U.S. Open, please, and give me like three more weeks and then bring it back when I get in shape? I, I know I didn't work out, but I, I was I was partying. I was being a feminist. Like, <laughs> what are we? Do you see this? Please, Alex. Alex, can you help me? Alex, are you gonna let him do this to me? Look at this. Gonna go down this because he just keeps. Oh, Alex, are you gonna go? Let are him we go gonna down go down this because he just keeps trying to go down to the fact, but he's not answering my question. And I think I, I I would I hope the audience can see this. I think it's pretty fucking obvious. I am talking about. Tell me why in my scenario where I, where I say actually you should be the. He's banging his head off. And this guy is just like, are they talking to me? Hello? Is somebody talking to me? The crucible is literally banging his head. And this guy isn't even moving. Is he going to get control of this or what? Because it's all refuting. Because it's all refuting. I'm going to bridge the gap again. Okay, so what she's looking <laughs> for is, uh, for example, it will lead to this kind of outcome. So she's exactly. Like, oh, why is he, why, why is Alex, like, why, no, no, why is this host, the moderator, consistently siding with her? Well, uh, he's just uh, trying to explain her position. Like, what? I mean, this is like, <laughs> it's one of the worst debates. Great debate. I mean, Worst. <laughs> Look at the crucible. He's like, oh God. He's calling his wife. Come save me, please. Tell me the kid broke a leg. Something. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> this poor guy. 
You need we to don't do have to worry about the outcome, though, because it's self-refuting. It's literally self-refuting. Right, it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Just that you, <laughs> should be, you should be in a patriarchal relationship because otherwise it's self-refuting. I don't think you're going to convince a lot of people, and I don't think you're getting I think any just convinced a lot of people tonight after they watch this debate, well, I promise. <laughs> how about it, then? If it's just so self-refuting, if, if your argument is everyone, you guys should be in a patriarchal relationship because otherwise it's just self-refuting, then okay, cool. <laughs> no, my argument to you... For your question Who to me, Alex's question. Do you have an answer to Alex? You you hate me, but what's Alex's? Yeah, question? so so I'm not debating with Alex. So I'm debating with you. So again, but he told you the, the question, question I actually have. You won't answer me, or you won't answer I, him asking you my question. Okay, you know what? Let's try it this way. Why don't you steel man my position, and no, I'll steel man your? No, no saying on stop, 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 stop. Steel man my position, and I'll steel man yours. That way we so. know. I will stop do so. Talking. Just let me finish question. one point. If you steel man my position, I steel man yours, then we'll know we're not talking past no, no, each no, other. No, 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 no. I want you to answer my question first because you are sitting there. I've answered it four times, and I feel like if you steel way. man it, I feel like if you steel man it, you'll get the answer. Why, no. Why, why can't you just, like, is this like a fucking puzzle? I can't, why can't not you just possibly have that? answered it more I, I, concisely. I, I, it's, it's not even, it's not even possible. That has we're been my gonna, question for the last minute. We're going to make a compromise really quick. I do like Andrew's idea of steel manning each other's position, so you guys will do that really quick. And then after that, you will redirect that same question to Andrew. I do think it's a good exercise to help make sure you guys are not talking past each other. So, Andrew, why don't you start off by steel banning Jasmine's position? Yeah, Jasmine's position, it's kind of incoherent, but I'll try to get as close as I possibly can. She's saying that she thinks that we should do what's best for society based on a loosely formed harm principle. That seems to be what her argument is. Uh, Andrew's position is that we should do what's maybe best for future generations based on his moral philosophy of divine command and whatever he thinks is best for the rest of society. Honestly, I, I like it's really hard to even know our positions, especially when we're actually talking about the did actual. I, did I do something wrong with your position or did I get it correct? About my position on the. She doesn't even understand it. I'm telling you, she doesn't understand her own position. Just in general, like yeah. that, we should have a. Yeah, that's yeah I do. Th I think, okay, here's my position because I don't think you did a great job explaining it in one sentence. Well, I'm just steel I don't it, believe right? that we have, unless you're going to do an appeal to an authority, which is a fallacy. You're the, I don't like to bring up fallacies in debates because I think it's dumb, but whatever, you can see broad nature. An appeal to an authority is a fallacy. And you think that, or I, what my position is, is that we don't have, because I don't believe things based on insufficient evidence believing in divine command is something believing in something based on insufficient evidence so that leaves us in a tough spot and there are yeah. difficult questions in this life in a multitude Can of you steel man right? my position now what your uh, your position is that uh it's that it's that it's that uh well it's we've, we've gone through so many different topics if we're going back to the original do you want me to steel ban your original well, point let me just, how about i just tell it to you as concisely as possible how about i just tell it to you Everybody's got a hungry heart. <laughs> the crucible is hunting Jasmine Jafar. <laughs> Pretty soon she's gonna be a slave. She'll be working in his kitchen like a head and maid. I can't take any more of this. <laughs> My head is exploding. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. <laughs>